Welcome, church. Um, it is good that we can still meet in some way um, on this Good Friday. Um, I was reading in Colossians, and um, Paul would just encourage that church uh, that he would still be with them in spirit. So it is great that um, in the, the time of the early Christians, they were, would be far apart, but they'd still be with each other in spirit. And even for us in this time, we can still meet in some way together and pray together. Um, so today is Good Friday, um, and we will be celebrating um, the death and the relevance of that death of our Savior Jesus. Um, so it really is a wonderfully good day um, for us. Um, and in some ways, it seems strange that, um, that the death of God um, we would we would remember this day as a good day, very strange, but it really is good news for us because it means that the wrath of God uh, isn't aimed at us, um, but rather God has paid it all and he has bore the wrath and drank the cup. Um, so firstly, let's, um, uh, there's just an announcement that uh, on Sunday there will be a service at 9 a.m. Um, and on Resurrection Sunday. So I first want us to um, look at a, a really moving verse. Uh, you don't need to turn there, but um, it's Matthew 26, um, verse 39. Um, and this is Jesus um, when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane, uh, just before uh, his crucifixion. Um, and it says, And going a little further, he fell on his face and prayed, saying, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. Um, and <laughs> just the heart of, of Jesus is really portrayed um, here that this was something that he struggled with, that it was uh, the feet ahead of him was a big one. Um, and, and I think the, the physical death and crucifixion on the cross, yes, massively torturous. Um, but I think bearing the wrath of God um, and uh, there's mention of the cup. Um, and Jesus said, let this cup pass from me. Um, that cup is the cup filled with the wrath of God that is reserved or was reserved uh, for me and for you. Um, so this is the wrath that Jesus would uh, walk the road of Calvary and the cup that he would drink. Um, and so let's turn together Hebrews to, to Hebrews 2 verse 14. And we're going to read from... Hebrews uh, from 14 to 17. And this uh, verse really, um, it just paints the picture um, to what God's plan was um, from before creation, um, how he would turn um, the, the state of the world and our sin um, around for his glory um, through his son, Jesus. So starting in verse 14, it says, Since therefore the children share in flesh and blood, he himself likewise partook of the same things, that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is the devil, and deliver all those who through fear of death were subject to lifelong slavery. For surely it is not angels that he helps, but he helps the offspring of Abraham. Therefore, he had to be made like his brothers in every respect, so that he might become a merciful and faithful high priest in the service of God, to make propitiation for the sins of the people. Just, well, what a, what, what a wonderful uh, place for us to be. Um, brothers of Jesus Christ and sons of God. Um, we are uh, no longer slaves, but we are free to live in Christ. Um, and that is all by the death of Jesus Christ. Um, that God willingly became um, flesh because he loved us so much. God willingly became flesh and died in our place for us. Um, so it really is not just a good day, but um, 
it's the joyous occasion which um, we look back to every single day as Christians, thanking God and praising Him for the wonderful work that He has done. Um, so we're going to go into a time of worship um, and um, songs selected by Sean Robertson, and then he'll also preach. Um, and I really, I really want to encourage you to just uh, think about the words that we we are singing and um, some wonderful songs. Um, and yeah, really just um, thank God for for what He has done in your life and how He has brought you back um, into community with Him. So let's pray. Father, I just want to thank you, Lord, um, that that you did it all, Lord. Um, Father, that you bore the wrath and you, and you drank that cup on our behalf, Lord. Father, it is incredible to think that that God became a man, um, that God became one of his creations because you love us. Lord, I thank you um, for this work that you've done. Um, in in my life and in our lives, Lord, um, Father, and I thank you that yeah you are continuing that that work and you are continuing um, to work within us and uh, to uh, to just show us more of your glory. Um, and Father, we just we just pray that today, as we think about um, uh, your death, Lord, and as we look forward to the resurrection story, Lord. Um, we will take full confidence in the finished work of Christ Jesus, Lord. Father, thank you so much. Um, we are so grateful um, to you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. All right, let's, let's worship together. <laughs> 